Good morning, YouTube. Well, it looks like uh, Darky and his crew are at it again. These guys just don't seem to stop innovating. So now they have a full Odin package so that anyone can easily uh, flash Darky's ROM uh, regardless of what their starting point is. So I've gone ahead and downloaded the resurrection package. Um, Darky has conveniently included everything we need. There's a tar file, there's the Odin tool, and then there's a resurrection.zip that we're going to flash with Clockwork Mod after we flash the base ROM. Um, the base ROM flash includes uh, partitioning, and so that's what the pip file is. Darky has also included a very detailed instruction manual. So the Installation of Darkey's ROM 9.2 is going to be divided into two parts. The first part, we're going to flash the base ROM using Odin. Odin is a Samsung software tool used to flash firmwares. The second part is we will be flashing uh, the remaining package with Clockwork Mod. So let's uh, first go into recovery mode so that we can uh, do a factory wipe and delete all user data. Okay, so here's our stock Android system recovery. So I'm going to go ahead and do a full wipe. So we're going to wipe data as well as the cache. First, let's go ahead and delete all user data. And now we'll wipe cache partition. Okay, that was very fast, easy. Now let's uh, take the battery out. Okay, let's put the battery back in and go into download mode. Now let's open up Odin on the computer. Odin um, was part of the package from Darkey's file. So this is the Odin interface. Let's plug in our phone. You can see that COM12, the yellow box, an added message. That means our phone is recognized. Now let's choose the pit file. This is for partitioning. Let's pick the PDA file, which is the .tar.md file. Let's also select repartition. Okay, I think we're ready to start. Okay, I'm going to forward through this part in the video so that we don't uh, have to wait the full two, three minutes. Okay, the kernel, so it's almost done. There, reset and pass. The phone is rebooting. Okay, so we have rebooted into recovery. There's the error message as uh, Darky's instruction showed. So now we can reboot. Let's disconnect and select reboot. Okay, the phone has booted up. This is a fresh install. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose the language and select my uh, Wi-Fi, enter my Google account, etc. Let's go into the settings. Oh, the green is back, I like that. So now we have 2.2.1 uh, JPY showing and you can see Super Curio's latest Voodoo kernel is installed as part of the base ROM. Oh, I gotta sign in. 
Okay, I downloaded Dark Rom Configurator from the market. So let's uh, configure uh, uh, the options for our ROM install. You don't have to do a wipe because we already did. Let's choose default kernel. I'm going to go with most of the defaults. Default modem, Wi-Fi driver, WPA supplicant. Don't know what that is. Sounds like a robot that shoots people. Um, okay, let's leave the rest. Pretty much the way it's set. Okay. Okay, let's uh, select USB debugging so that we can copy the resurrection.zip file onto the phone's internal SD card. Okay, so phone is plugged in and mapped to the PC. There's our resurrection.zip file. I'm going to drag that over to the internal SD card of the phone. Okay, we can go ahead now and disconnect the phone. Okay, now if we look in the phone, we should see the resurrection.zip file. Yep, so it's copied over. Um, let's go ahead and get into recovery again. Now we can get in easily using the power menu. Okay, we are in clockwork mod recovery now. So let's go ahead and choose zip from SD card. There's our resurrection.zip file. So let's flash that. Okay. That was pretty fast. Uh, that took maybe 30 seconds. So that install is done. We can now reboot. Okay, I'll speed this along in the video. And we're uh, back up. Okay, so now we have the full 9.2 edition installed. Let's choose a gingerbread launcher. Let's uh, just take a look around the phone. Let's look at maps. Let's see how quickly it can get a location. I'm completely indoors. There, we got it fixed pretty fast. So that's good. All the usual apps Darky includes are there. The phone is already rooted. Here's the Voodoo Control app. This uh, gives you lots of options for uh, optimizing the audio from your phone. Let's take a look at uh, the unlock screen menu. There you go, there's your easy choice of four different unlock screens. Um, there's a lot of fonts already included. I got Quadrant from the market, so I'll just do a quick uh, Quadrant run just to see what this gets. Oh, 14, 18. Not too bad. Uh, I think that means the lag fix is already enabled. Let's go into recovery again. Okay, let's take a look at the Voodoo lag fix options. And there you can see Voodoo lag fix is actually enabled by default. Even the system lag fix conversion is enabled. And that's uh, the video on how to flash the 9.2 with Odin. Thanks.